I've been enjoying myself quite a lot, and I, as a result, have been wandering around, just looking for quests, looking for various tasks that we can do. And as you can see, I've got some, you know, I've got a bunch of coffee beans. Would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? Do you take it with milk? Do you take it with sugar? I don't know. But whatever the case, we're going to be selling these coffee beans. Sorry to break it to you. Welcome back to Freeman. And the overhaul mod is still installed because I find that it is actually very effective, even though it does not stop me from dying from very, very good units. And that's a, that's a cool thing. It's a nice, nice balance of lower tier units not being able to kill me that easily. They still can and higher tier units being just as deadly as they should be. They should be deadly because they are high tier. Anyway, as you can see right here, we have a bunch of gold ore that I am going to be buying in just a second. Let me just go into the bar and ask her, Chinivka, ah, okay, so Chinivka definitely needs gold ore. So I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of that. So uh, yeah, I don't know whether you noticed, but in the bottom right, it actually shows that I have leveled up. Yes, can you imagine? I am very surprised indeed. Chinivka is over there, so it's gonna take quite a bit of time. Now, what happened in my off-screen time is that I got beset upon by a very angry band of armored marauders. And uh, initially, I was thinking to myself that I would help out the allied units, but basically friendly units, in their battle and unfortunately that did not work out let's suffice it to say it did not work out it would it was basically just too much and i did kill i did kill a couple of enemies but it was not enough to actually win us the day so i basically just ran away but it was enough to get us the next level which is really good anyway please tell me some valuable information dried fish do you have any missions for me someone has actually told me that sometimes villages and indeed towns as well can give you missions that give you a huge amount of rewards so i'm basically trying to search for something that is within my uh well within my ability to do so shall we say anyway let's see what we can do here gonna be a bit careful as well because you never know when someone may come out of the, the woodwork and just absolutely murder everything in sight so we're just gonna sell all look at the gold ore it's crazy look at that almost eight thousand that is insane yes thank you thank you very much for that okay so we now have sixteen thousand. i could technically buy some additional things here but i as i say i don't really have that much in the way of spec at the moment so as you can see we've leveled up so what do we have well we have one additional assigned attribute point here so i'm actually going to be improving our marksmanship because eventually i'd like to be able to get to about five or six maybe even more than that to be so i can actually use an ak or something along those lines that would be pretty awesome otherwise i'm going to increase my trading skill and we are also then going to be increasing my armor finally so let me just increase my armor proficiency and there we have it okay so now i'm actually kind of pleased because i will be able to wear this helmet it is absolutely terrible though let's say let's face it i mean i should probably go in and buy something a little bit better shouldn't i so let's go into the armor here let's take a look see if i can maybe buy a vest uh, there's a pilot helmet i'll buy the pilot helmet and do we have a vest here yes i'll buy the desert vest and I think that is basically all I'm going to be able to use. And I think someone actually asked, what, what is the point in giving all of these armor pieces five armor? Well, here's the thing. Let's say you're up against looters, right? Let's say you're up against looters. They're the lowest tier of bandit. They usually will only have pants on most of the time. They won't have any upper, upper body, you know, uh, chest armor or anything like that. And so they will generally have less armor than you do. But the main reason for wanting to have armor is to obviously prevent yourself from dying too easily. So having these lower level armor pieces have, you know, five armor, three armor, you know, any little bit of armor there can make a pretty significant difference in your survivability. And that's the main reason why I kind of wanted to see that. But now that we have a little bit of extra armor here, I've got 20 head armor and 22 body armor. Hopefully I won't die too easily, but you can see here that leveling up is kind of difficult. And uh, I think intelligence, yeah, intelligence does make you gain XP 5% faster, but it's obviously not a not a huge amount. So it is, it's not really going to give you a very big 
super hardcore benefit, you know, it's going to be good, but it's not going to be super hardcore. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the barracks and we're going to try and recruit a couple of people. Now, who, who should I recruit? Well, I'm actually going to click uh, no equipment here because what I'd like to do is maybe, just maybe, I should get some Spetsnaz. Shouldn't I get some Spetsnaz? Let's do this. Okay, so let's go for... Should I buy an entire squad of Spetsnaz and, this, and then just try and kit them out in, in something? Okay, we'll, we'll try and do that. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five of these guys. These guys are going to be absolutely crazy. So I have basically cannibalized some of my other squads because you can see here that Atacama, they just were, you know, merged into the other, uh, into the other squads there because I just felt like that was the, that was the way to go. Thankfully, these guys actually do come with gas masks still, so they have some decent armor already. As you can see, they are really good with assault rifles, really good with shotguns. Their throwing proficiency is pretty decent too, so I can actually give them this AK right here, and, uh, well, he's obviously going to be very good with it. And that makes me think that I should go in here and we should take a look and see what I can get for them. So, technically, I could get them SMGs. They're pretty good with SMGs from, uh, from my reckoning, so maybe we want to do that. I could get them an AKS. So, I think we're going to do something like that. There's also a red dot site, which might be really fun to go for. So, let's just go and buy two of these, because I obviously don't have a huge amount of cash. Even though... You would think that I would by now, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sad, really. It's kind of sad that I uh, can't find better trade routes, but you know, that's just that's just my fault. That is just my fault. It's nothing nothing to worry about, really. All right, so now now that we've done that, let's give these guys some more gear. There we go. Okay, that's pretty fantastic. I have a helmet here as well, so I guess I'll give one of them a helmet. And there's only two of them now that need kitting out. So technically, I could do battle with some mountain bandits. I, uh, hmm, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that I'll be able to beat pirates either. So I'm thinking we'll just go over to Gorinka and we'll see if we can maybe... Ooh, hello there. What's actually going on here? Both sides are hostile, don't get involved. Ah, thanks very much for letting me know. All right, so our first stop is selling our coffee beans that I just picked up, and you can see that we're gonna gain a pretty decent amount from that. Obviously the shovels, they're not really gonna do that much for us right here. Unfortunately, it seems like Zashkiv does not have any additional things that I can basically take and then move on. So that's a bit of a shame, but well, what can you do? We do now have 6,400, so technically what I could do is I could buy another, maybe another AK or something like that, because that is an assault rifle or, oh no, it's actually an SMG. This counts as an SMG, so the smaller variant of the AK obviously counts as an SMG. Okay, well, that's good to know anyway. So I guess we'll go for that. And technically I could give them more grenades as well, which might actually make sense, because they have a pretty decent throwing proficiency too, so maybe that would be an idea. So let me go and, oh, I could give them first aid kits. I don't know whether they use the first aid kits though. That's the thing. Now I was being chased by this guy, but thankfully we were able to run away from him. He has six armored marauders in his army, which is a little bit much, a little bit much for me right now. Oh, hello. Got to be careful here. Got to be careful using the speed up function. That's for sure. Ah, hello. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hello there. Would you mind, uh, would you mind saying hi? I'm actually going to remove this guy from the party because he doesn't have any weapon, so he would be basically be useless, really. So let's head in here. Uh, hold it right there. You'll not pass us alive. Okay, so he would actually give us a thousand, but I'm more interested in fighting because we can get some experience. We can see our new squad in action. I think I'm actually going to use them. Should I? Should I use them? I think I probably should. So let's use... Mojave, yeah, it's Mojave, or Mojave, you know, dependent on what you want to say, because it's, it's fun, it's funny. Anyway, so, otherwise, hmm, what do we want to do here? Uh, I think going for, uh, going for those, uh, going for those trees over there might make sense. Technically, I'm not a, not a terribly big fan of running all that far away. Oh yes, and I also have night vision goggles now, so as you can see, oh yes, this is actually helping me a pretty considerable deal, and uh, we can hopefully spot the enemies 
much much easier than we would otherwise yeah i think it i think it definitely helps us out quite a bit now with this smg what i'm going to attempt to do is i will attempt if at all possible to try and get a bit closer to the opponent than i have been recently because obviously if i try to get close i'm probably going to get shot that's a yeah that's a bit of a thing but maybe now that we have a little bit of extra armor that might also make a pretty big difference to how effective our survivability is. Now, I'm going to have to be a bit careful here because I have no idea where the enemies are. And I obviously... Oh, you know what I would like to do? I'd love to have an entire squad that is basically just snipers. Oh! Ow. They hit me in the head. Yes, they hit me in the head. That was not a good idea. Not a good idea to run ahead. No. Not a good idea at all. I actually thought my, my units were relatively close by, but apparently not. Anyway, this time around, at least we have a much better map. So I'm pretty happy with this. And that means that I can basically put my units into much better locations. We're just going to take them both over here, really. There we go. And now, thankfully, because the game is just that little bit forgiving, which I very much appreciate because, you know, sometimes you're going to get killed instantly, just like we saw there. And it's nice to be able to have that little extra leeway. But I did hit the guy in the head. Did you see that? I did actually hit the enemy in the head. But unfortunately, it was not ending up to be a kill. So if only I had just killed him, you know, just shot him once more. And then I think he probably would have died. But oh well, never mind. Guess it's not a big deal. As it is right now. Okay, so we're actually over here. Uh, you know what? Let's move them over there. Move these guys over here. Gonna try and hide behind this tree. This is a very thin... Ah, hello. There they are. They're right there. So I'm gonna move these guys over here now as well. And do you think I can shoot this guy from here? Mm, I'm gonna say no. Ah, there we go. We got him. We got him. Okay, get down. Get down. Let's try and heal ourselves. Wow, the... Yeah, even though I have the armor, it's uh, it's still doing a lot of damage, but uh, I guess that's just how it is for the moment. Oh, there we go. We got another one. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, yeah, there was another one too. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so I believe that that is it for that particular group, and there is another group around here somewhere, so I don't know where they are, but... At the moment, I think I, I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm liking our odds at the very least because obviously we do have to now deal with the bandits rather than the looters because we've just eliminated the looters. So it might be problematic. Oh, hello. Is that them right there? That is them right there. Got him. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right. That's with an SMG. That's, that's, I mean, you know, it's not the most effective long range weapon. That's for sure. Okay. So these guys are actually over here and my, my people are not in a good, not in a good position whatsoever because they've got the high ground. As you can see, we basically can't take that back without killing them. Oh, and it seems like we might actually be able to take them out. There's another one. Another clip used. Another magazine used. Whatever you want to say. Yes, great. And maybe... He's right there. I mean, it's just because of the accuracy of the SMG that it's making it kind of difficult for me to hit him. But, well, whatever the case, I'm sure my forces will be able to take him out. I'm actually wondering where my trained marksman is. Is, 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 is he actually firing? <laughs> Is he actually firing at the opponent? Well, there we go. He finally got him. He finally got him. Okay, so there's 4,400. A little bit of experience. We took no casualties, which is actually really good. And we do have an SMG now that we can technically equip on some of our forces there, which would be kind of nice. And we do get one of them prisoner. That's fantastic. I'm actually hoping that we will be able to take more prisoners going forward because they are just so incredibly good to sell. Anyway, let's uh, give these guys SMG. Um, you know what? I, I feel like I should really get these guys some better weapons 
but they, they've got decent SMG proficiency. They're just not hitting things for some reason. I don't exactly know why that would be, but, oh well, whatever the case, let's just tell everyone to level up. Eight soldiers leveled up. Ooh, nice. That's actually really cool. That is really cool. Okay. So, oh, these, oh yeah, they need helms as well, don't they? Oh, yes, it's going to make a big difference. Okay, so let's go in here and see if we can maybe get some missions from these guys. Okay, trained soldiers, maps. Mm, trained soldiers, no. I think that's going to be a bit too harsh for me. And we have shovels still, so we still need to go to Lubney and hand those in, which I believe is over in this direction. So let's go that way. All right, so at least we were able to win that battle a little bit a mm, little bit problematic here and there but i think we handled ourselves relatively well yeah armored marauders are certainly not something that we will be able to take on just yet but hopefully we will work on it and see what we can do in the future so otherwise oh yeah they have a discount on linen i never thought i'd say those words very good all right unfortunately this bandit is level three and he only sells for a thousand. So I was actually thinking maybe we should just take him and make him a uh, make him one of our units. But uh, I'm not sure actually. Maybe that would be an idea. Maybe that would be an idea. Anyway, let's just see. Litvin demands linen. Okay, this is actually a pretty good trade route if you can get a full batch of linen like this, or at least as much linen as possible then it's really, really good because Litvin is only over there, which is fantastic. So if you can get this trade route, then I think that's that's kind of nice because it's such a short distance away. And what do they have? They have a discount on shovels. So I can basically take... T what? I can just take shovels and then go back to Lubney? Are you serious? Is that actually true? Oh, that would be kind of amazing in many ways. Okay, let's do that. Let's take all of these. There we go. We've still got 4,000. 400 for that and now I can head back to Lubney. All right, so we're doing pretty well. I just need to level up more so I'm thinking how I'm gonna do that without putting myself in too much jeopardy because obviously that's That's the main problem me dying isn't it? Yes, absolutely All right, so we are once again on a desert map and Personally, I feel like I am very very excited about this particular battle don't think we're going to do too well here in terms of rewards, but the amount of experience that we can gain, on the other hand, that is that is pretty awesome. Now, we are currently involved with the FCA. I believe we are helping the FCA against a band of Cossack rebels, and we're going to try our very, very best to, uh, well, to tr try and get some experience, basically. I mean, that's the, that's the main reason why we're here, isn't it? Because those guys are pretty high level, and they should give me some some decent enough experience, and hopefully, my forces will be able to kill a couple as they make their way up the hill here. Now, I think it's good for them to just be on the top here, but it could make them into well, not su not sitting ducks, but it could make them kind of easy to kill. Oh, we got him. Did you see that? Okay, we actually got him with an SMG from that range. That's pretty good. That was lucky. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That was absolute luck, but very, very nice indeed, because 150 XP is now ours. Very nice. Okay, we're going to have to be very cautious here. Ah, there's another one. Wonder whether I can get another one. It's unlikely, isn't it? Highly unlikely. Yeah, these FCA Grenadiers are going to be super, super good at what they do as well. I'm actually kind of wondering what's going on with my forces here because it seems like uh, Atacama is having some difficulties. I don't exactly know why that is. And it's kind of disappointing because they are really good. Can you charge? Uh Yes, they seem to be having difficulties. I'm going to tell them to retreat, actually, because maybe I just need to get them respawned or something along those lines. Okay, so otherwise, let's have a look and see what's happening with the enemies ahead of us here, because no doubt we'll be able to see them on the map. Ah, there they are. Okay, so they are still over there, basically up that hill by the looks of things. There's one. 
Yeah, he's dead. Oh, trained marksman. Is that one of ours? I think that might be one of one of ours. That's pretty good. Okay, so Atacama is going to respawn. We'll put them over here this time. And then we'll tell them to go this way instead. I think that's probably going to make a bit more a bit more sense. And let me see if I can maybe move a little bit closer. I don't want to go too close because I obviously don't want to die. But I do want to get a little bit more into the action. So we can maybe help our FCA comrades here even though they're technically not our comrades because they're well we're not allied with them or anything okay so let's be careful gotta be careful gotta look around gotta make sure that we know exactly what's gonna happen i'm gonna get shot in the face that's what's gonna happen all right let's be careful ah there we go there they are Is that them? I don't even know whether that's them, to be honest. I'm actually running out of ammo as well. Probably should have bought some more, but I think I think we'll be okay. All right, so, yeah. It seems like these guys have some weird problems with the environment for some reason. I, I don't exactly know why that is, but apparently they have some difficulties with it. So, we will not be getting any assistance from our Spetsnaz squad, which is not exactly great. Hello there. Did that guy just die? Because if he just died while I hit him, that would have been... Oh, yeah, there we go. We got him. Nice. We got another one. Ooh, someone's got a big weapon. Did you hear that? That's crazy. Okay, I've got to be careful here. There's only five left, but they can kill me so incredibly quickly. And the FCA are dying around me, so you should really understand that these guys are deadly. Even if they are just Cossack rebels, they are still much more powerful than the regular looter. Oh, hello. Got him. Nice. Kind of happy that we have FCA Grenadiers on our side, to be honest. Okay, anyone else? I don't see anyone. Famous last words. I'm sure. Okay, so the enemy's location has been revealed now. Let me get down into prone position. So where are the enemies? They're over here. Okay. So that's good to know. Oh, Atacama is actually coming now. Okay. This might actually be pretty awesome. They might actually kill a couple of the enemies. There's only two of them left. So <laughs> I wouldn't expect too much. But who knows? Oh, Militia Rifleman. Is that one of ours? If that's one of ours, then I'm very impressed. Because just now, eight of our soldiers leveled up just from the experience. Well, previously. Oh, there we go. And we, yes, as we see here, we still, we still gain 100 credits from that. And we did have eight friendly casualty. Eight? Oh, yeah. That's not me. That's not my guys. Okay, that's actually pretty fine. Yes. Now, this is the main reason why we enter these battles. Because we want to get these rifles. These are so incredibly good. They really are. And I'm going to be giving those to our Spetsnaz fellows because they will no doubt do absolutely amazingly with them if they actually get into the battle itself. That's the reason. Okay, so let's let's get that on there and yeah, this on here. There we go. This guy needs a helmet, so we'll just give him a bandana because it does have five armor. I mean, you know, five armor is better than nothing. And we can actually level up five soldiers, these guys. Oh yes, and now they have 265 HP, 9 marksmanship, and all kinds of other wonderful stuff. And uh, I think there are some, did their, did their proficiency go up as well? I'm actually unsure about that, but whatever the case, very happy with them at the moment. I think we are probably going to do something similar in the future where we get a very high tier unit for a cheap price without any equipment, and then we just try and equip them with things from battles and I think that this the, yeah that's I think that's gonna work out quite nicely because these guys are all were all using AK and AK variants at the moment which is pretty awesome and that's not to say that Mojave is not actually awesome but uh, they're, they're obviously being a little bit outdone by Atacama here even though they they were kind of useless in getting over the terrain and things like that but anyway I'm gonna move on to, uh, where am I now? I need to go to Drobin, don't I? Oh, Drobin is actually a, uh, it's actually a terrorist town, so it's gonna, I'm gonna have to sneak in.
But otherwise, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.